Good morning all. Welcome you all to a new session of the chapter sets of class 11 mathematics. Today we are going to learn the applications of sets. Actually set is the fundamental concept of all higher mathematics. But here we are dealing with the relationship between four numbers, number of A, number of B, number of A and B, number of A intersection B as application of sets. Let us do, let us learn using an example. Let A be the set of all boys in your class. B be the set of all girls in your class. You know that the two sets are disjoint. No element in A is in B and no element in B is in A. Now, what is A union B? A union B is the union of A and B. It is the set of all students in your class set of all students in your class. How can we find number of A union B? What is actually number of A union B? Number of A union B is the total number of students in your class. The total number of students in your class is, is the sum of number of boys in your class plus number of girls in your class. That is number of A plus number of B. Here the two sets are disjoint. When two sets are disjoint, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B. We can clarify this result using a Venn diagram. A and B are two disjoint sets just like shown in the figure. Here, we want to find number of A union B. To find number of A union B, First count the numbers, the total number in A, that is number of A, then plus number of B. Sum of these two numbers, number of A and number of B is actually number of A union B. It means that for any two disjoint sets A and B, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B. Very important result. For any two disjoint sets, a and B, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B. The term disjoint is important. If these two sets are not disjoined, this result does not hold. Clear? Then write in your notebook. Write the heading and first application of sets. After that write, there are three results. First result is result 1, that is for any to disjoint, the term disjoint, not the term disjoint, that is very important. Okay. For any two disjoint sets and B, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus, num sorry, number of A plus number of B. As a proof, we can draw the Venn diagram just we have drawn before. This Venn diagram is self-explanatory. This Venn diagram tells us that Number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B. Suppose there are three sets A, B and C. Here there are only two sets. Suppose there are three sets A, B and C. And these three sets are disjoint. Then what will be number of A union B union C? If three sets are disjoint, very simple. That is number of A union B union C is equal to number of A plus number of B plus number of C. But one condition is there that three sets must be disjoint. Clear? Now, C. Sometimes two sets may be like this also. These two sets A and B are not disjoint. There is a common portion to both A and B. These two sets are not disjoint. Then how can we find number of A union B? Here, even though the three two sets are dis, not disjoint, we can make three disjoint, three disjoint sets from these two sets. First one is this portion. Second one is this portion. And third one is this shader portion. These three regions are clearly disjoint. There is no common elements 
to any two of these. Okay. What does this portion indicate? That is A minus B. What about this yellow shader region, A intersection B, and this gray shader region is B minus A. Clearly, these three sets are disjoint sets. When three sets are disjoint, A, B, C are three disjoint sets, then what is number of A union B union C? A union B union C is equal to number of A plus number of B plus number of C. Actually, A union B is the union of these three disjoint sets. Okay. Therefore, number of A union B is equal to number of first set is A minus B, number of A minus B plus second set is number of A intersection B, number of A intersection B plus third set is B minus A, therefore number of B minus A. See the red color writing. Number of A minus B and number of A intersection B. What is actually that? Number of A minus B is this portion, this dotted shader region, and number of A intersection B is yellow shader region. What is there sum? That is actually number of A. Number of A minus B plus number of A intersection B. That is actually number of A. Therefore, we can replace this red text by number of A. And uh, next portion is number of B minus A. This is the number of this is the portion number of B minus C A. Actually, that is number of B minus number of A in the section B. When we delete A minus B, A in the section B from number of B, we get B minus A. Therefore, we can write number of B minus A as number of B minus number of A in the section B. Then number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in the session B. For any two sets, for any two sets, this fact is correct. For any two sets A and B, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in the section B. This is a very important result. Okay. Number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in the session B. Suppose these two sets are disjoint, then also this result hold. Why? When these two sets are disjoint, number of A in the session B equals 0. At that time, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B. If two sets are not disjoint, at that time also this, this result holds. Therefore, this result holds for any two sets A and B. Clear? Now, write this in your notebook like this. Result 2. For any two sets A and B, number of A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in the session B. As a proof, you draw the Venn diagram and write like this. Just I uh, described before. Okay. Now, here we have proved that number of A in the union B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in the session B. From this, we get a new result. That is number of A union B. What is number of A union B? That is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A union B. Transpose number of A union B to the right side. Number of A intersection B is equal to number of A plus number of B minus number of A union B. That is also a very important result. So write in your notebook. Okay. Suppose there are three sets A, B, C like this. Then how can we find number of A union B union C? What is number of A union B union C here? Suppose I write number of A union B union C is equal to number of A plus number of B plus number of C. What will happen? When I write number of A, this portion come. What is this portion? The common region to both A and B, that is A intersection B. When I write number of A, this portion come one time. When I write number of B, again this portion come. This portion, num a number of A intersection B is this one. Number of A intersection B come when I add a number of A and it appear when I add a number of B. That is, number of A interse intersection B came twice. So, we want to subtract number of A intersection B once. Like this, number of A intersection B because we want that portion only one time. In the same way, this portion that is B intersection C, number of B intersection C will be appeared two times when I add a number of B and a number of C. So I want to subtract it one time from the total number of B intersection C. In a similar way, number of A intersection C also come twice. So I want to subtract it one number of A intersection B. Okay. Now what about this region? This region is number of A intersection B intersection C. 
we added it thrice when i add a number of a number of b number of c it come uh, it, 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 it has been came so i added this portion thrice and i subtracted it thrice so i want to add one time more that is plus number of a in the section b in the section c therefore in total number of a union b union c is equal to number of a plus number of b plus number of c minus number of a in the session b minus number of a in b in the session c minus number of a in the session c plus number of a and b and c so write in your notebook beautifully result number three for any three sets a b c number of a union b union c is equal to number of a plus number of b plus number of c minus number of a and b minus number of b and c you can read number of b and c also number of a and c plus number of a and b and c as a proof you can draw this one diagram okay write beautifully in your notebook c these are the four results we have discussed before first one is number of a union b equal to number of a plus number of b minus number of a in the section b second one number of a in the section b equal to number of a plus number of b minus number of a union b third one is number of a minus b what is the number of a minus b number of a minus number of a in the session b and the number of b minus s equal to number of b minus number of a in the session b these are the four important results in this section so write beautifully and by heart well okay these four results can be verified using this Venn diagram. This Venn diagram explain the proof of these four results. So draw this Venn diagram also. Clear. Now let us do some problems. Problems 26 to 32. First problem, question number 26, very simple problem. Here we have given number of x, number of y, number of x union y. Then what will be the question? What is number of x in the section y? In this section, there are four numbers and three numbers are given. We are asked to find the fourth number. Here, number of x in the session y. Then, you know what is the formula to find number of x in the session y. Number of x in the session y is equal to number of x plus number of y minus number of x union y. Just replace these three numbers. Number of x 28, number of y 32, number of x union y 50. Just replace them and add 28 plus 30 to 60 minus 50. Then answer is 10. Here you note that among the numbers, number of x in the session y, number of x, number of y, number of x union y, the smallest number is number of x in the session y. Then the numbers number of x, number of y. After that the number, number of x union y. And the biggest or the largest number is number of u. Okay, this is the order of inclusion of number of x in the session y, number of x, number of y, number of x union y and number of u. Keep in mind. Okay, now write this in your notebook after that, question number 27. Very simple question. Here number of S, number of T, number of S, intersection T are given. We are asked to find number of S union T. What is the formula to find number of S union T? Number of S union T is equal to number of S plus number of T minus number of S intersection T. Then replace these numbers very simply. Then you get the answer as 42. Now question number 28. Number of x, number of x intersection y, number of x union y are given and we are asked to find number of y. Do you know to find the formula number of y? No. We know that only the formula to find number of x union y. So write it. Number of x union y is equal to number of x plus number of y minus number of x intersection y. We want to find number of y. What is number of y? Number of y is equal to uh, how can we find number of y? Replace number of x union y by 10, uh, sorry, by by 60 is equal to number of x is equal 40, number of y minus 10. The number of y plus 30 equals 60. The number of y equals 60 minus 30 and answer is what? 30. Okay. Now question number 29. Question number 29 is in a group of 400. It's a word problem. There are 400 people and 250 can speak Hindi, 200 can speak English. And we want to find the number of people who speak both the Hindi and the English. First, we want to convert these numbers into the form of sets. Here we have given number of people who are uh, who are speaking Hindi as 250. That is number of H is equal to 250, number of E is equal to 200, and the total number of people that is number of H union is equal to 400. Three numbers are given. What we are asked to find number of people who speak both Hindi and English. Okay, that is nothing but number of H intersection E. 
To find the formula to find number of h intersection is number of h plus number of e minus number of h. You need to see just replace these numbers, then you get answer as 50. Okay, then number of people who, who speak both Hindi and English is equal to 50. Clear? Now, question number 30. In a group of 70 people, same as just before, 37 like coffee, 52 like tea, and each person like at least one of the two drinks. And we want to find the uh, number of people who, re, who, speak, who, who uh, take both coffee and tea. Very simple problem. Okay. Here, the term at least one is here. The term at least one represents union. The total number of people is equal to 70. Here it is given that number of C equal 37, number of T equal 52, and number of C union T is equal to 70. We want to find number of people who uh, take both coffee and tea. That is number of C intersection T. Formula is number of C plus number of T minus some number of T, C union C, T. Then by replacing these numbers, you get answer as 90. Then question number 30. So that, sorry, 31. In a committee, there are 50 people speak French, 20 speak Spanish, and 10 speak both Spanish. And we want to find the number of people who, who speak at least one of these two languages. At least one represent the union. Therefore, here we have given three numbers. We want to find the union. Okay. Number of F union, yes, is equal to number of F plus number of S minus number of F, F intersection, yes. And uh, by replacing these numbers, you get the answer as 60. And the last question is question number 32. In a group of 65 people, 40 like cricket, 10 like both cricket and tennis. And how many like tennis only, uh, only and not cricket? And the one more question is there, how many like tennis? Here we have given number of C40, number of C union T65 and number of C intersection T10. Three numbers are given. One number is missing. What is that number of T? That is the question, how many like tennis? First, we have to find how many like tennis. For that, we write the formula number of C union T is equal to number of C plus number of T minus number of C intersection T. Here the question is how many like 20 is? That is we want to find number of T. Just replace the given numbers. Okay. Then you get number of T is equal to 65 minus 30 that is equal to 35. Therefore, number of people who like 10 is equal to 35. Then one more question is there how many like 10 is only? And in order cricket. To get the number of people who like tennis only, we subtract the total uh, number of people who like uh, uh, tennis, who, who like cricket from the people who like tennis. That is number of tennis only equal to number of T minus C. What is the formula to find number of T minus C? That is number of T minus number of T intersection C. Number of T is 35, number of T intersection C is 10, therefore the answer is 25. Okay? Number of people who like tennis is 35 and number of people who like tennis only is 25. Okay, then this fact, these answers can be easily derived using this Venn diagram also. See, number of people who like ten cricket and number of people who like tennis. This is the total number of people. First, fill the place. Uh, number of C intersection D. Number of people who like both tennis and cricket. That place indicates this, this region. Number of people who like both cricket and tennis. It is, uh, the total number is 10. Total number of people who like cricket is 40. The number of people who lie, lie inside this circle is 40. 10 is here, therefore right here 30. Okay. Then the total number of people is 65. Now 40 is already here. Now remaining 65, there are 25 right here. From this Venn diagram, all answers are, all answers are clear. First one, number of people who like 10 is. That is 35. Who like 10 is, is 35. 25 plus 10. Number of people who like 10 is only 25. Okay, this 25 people like tennis only, 10 like both tennis and cricket, therefore avoid them from the people, uh, delete them from, from the people who like tennis. So number of people who like tennis only is 25 and number of people who like cricket only is 30. Okay, answer is over. Now, today's class is over, so you have some assignment, 2021 and 22, very easy assignment you can do yourself very easily. Today's class is over. So. Let us meet our next class. Have a nice day. Goodbye.